What is going on guys? Welcome to Flat Tutorials. I don't really care what is going on with you, but I have to say it because I have been saying it for a very long time. So, what is going on guys? And welcome to Flat Tutorials. And what we're gonna do in this episode is... Uh, it's pretty easy. So, what we're gonna do in this episode is um, we're gonna make our car to, to rotate its wheels and uh, position them according to the suspension distance. Alright. So it's going to be more realistic and we have already done it in the car controller series so it's going to be very easy for us to program it. Now, in car control series what I have done and that was a really lame as idea and I just realized that because what I've done in the car control series is I I have I have uh, created all the code inside of just one script and uh, that is uh, really not a good idea. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new script, a new JavaScript, and what I'm going to name it, what I'm going to name it, let's say AI wheel script. Cool. Now, uh, one more thing is because of uh, uh, testing purposes, I'm just going to change the top speed to 100. And uh, so this will gonna help our car to not to flip and uh, we're gonna fix that flipping problem in our next episode and we're gonna fix a lot of things in our next episode and also we're gonna finish up this path uh, system in the, in the in the last uh, in the next episode and after that we will gonna focus on creating the obstacle avoidance system so let's just move on to it and uh, open up this uh, AI wheel script uh, it will gonna take a while. Uh, I guess not. All right. So the very first thing that we're gonna do, I guess it is it's still not opened completely. All right, we have to wait for a while. So very first variable that we're gonna create is um, it's gonna be our variable my uh, wheel collider. Yeah. My wheel collider is mine. All right, wheel collider. So it means that it is an of type wheel collider. Next thing, and uh, let's see what is gonna be our next thing. And uh, you know, let's just move on to the wheel rotation. And uh, you know, just close it up. And what we're gonna do is, uh, if you go inside of your car, and you will see in the hierarchy that. Uh, in the wheel transform we have four game objects select those game objects and add this AI wheel script to them and you can do it by going over here or you can just drag it I guess we can do it yes all right next thing open up wheel colliders and we're gonna go for wheel FL and we're gonna add wheel FL wheel collider right there for wheel FR wheel FR and wheel RL wheel RL Wheel RR, wheel RR. Okay. Uh, now let me just save the project so in case we crash. All right. So very first thing is uh, we're gonna create our car. We're gonna cre make our wheels to rotate according to the speed. So very first thing is transform. Transform dot rotate. Sorry, rotate. God damn it. Rotate. All right. Now, as this function say, it rotates a wheel. Um, that's it. It rotates a wheel. That's all it does. All right. So I'm not sure on which axis I wanted to rotate it. So let's just see. Um, there we go. There is our wheel in this axis. All right. So this is x axis. All right. So let's just move on to it and let's see. First thing, my wheel collider. I don't know. Mono Develop 4.1, I guess, have some have some issues with the you know pre detection, and uh, uh, that's what I don't like it. 
and it's gonna be 60 times it to 360 I guess I don't really have to explain this because I have already explained it in the car control series and you can understand it it's a pretty easy equation so it's gonna be time dot delta time and uh, two zeros because it is a uh, uh, vector three and uh, vector three let's see the next thing is uh, you know let's just first check this one out all right now we're gonna select and I'm gonna turn off the mesh render of this chassis so that you can see our wheels rotating all right now you can see they are rotating they are rotating I can clearly see them or for your and help what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn on this gizmos so that you can see them clearly oh no 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 select a transform right there and now you can see it on the scene all right they are rotating they are rotating pretty fine all right next thing is the uh, let me just show you what we want is our front wheels to have some steer angle because they already have it but they are not rotating on the y-axis as we want them to so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go back to my code and uh, uh, I'm gonna take uh, transform dot uh, local Euler angles and uh, I'm gonna take dot y because I want it to rotate I want it to rotate on y-axis I don't know what is going on with my tongue um, let's see uh, I guess it is on y-axis I mean I'm sure I just wanted to show you alright so you can see it is on y-axis so that's what we want and we're gonna go back we're gonna set it to uh, my god damn it, my wheel collider dot uh, steer angle I guess but that's, uh, that doesn't gonna really fix our problem or you know it doesn't really gonna work so we have to add the omitted value which is on uh, which is uh, being happening on the z-axis alright so we're gonna take that value on so it's gonna be transform dot uh, local Euler angles dot z now this is what I have already explained in my car grocery so if you want to know what is going on in here you can check it out in the color girl series that's it alright next thing I don't know uh, alright so it's fixed let's see if this is happening or not alright you can see they are rotating pretty fine next thing alright so uh, our wheels are rotating now this, uh, the next thing is the positioning now, uh, one more uh, question that you might have is that uh, we also having this steer angle value on the on the uh, rear wheels, which are not really controlled as a uh, steer wheel. So, so because they uh, because they have a steer uh, value zero, this whole equation will gonna turn out for them is gonna be zero. So that won't really gonna affect it. So you can leave this code right, right like this, or you can create a boolean in order to you wanna save some sort of you know uh, memory in the RAM. But it doesn't really matter. It will gonna it will gonna work pretty fine. Uh, next thing is uh, we're gonna create a recast down. We're gonna ca we're gonna cast it down, and we're gonna check the ground, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna take uh, we're gonna calculate a position to where to put our wheel. Uh, wheel model actually not wheel because it might be wheel collider all right variable hit and it's gonna be ray cast hit now what is this you might ask uh, this is variable hit which is an after I break cast it now ray cast hit is an I guess it is a structure which stores the uh, data from the collision of the ray okay so that's all it is it has a bunch of data like uh, what tag of the collider is which is uh, which this ray is colliding with the point where it is colliding it and a lot of data okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a raycast so how we're gonna create a raycast is gonna be if physics physics dot raycast all right so we have 
a lot of things right here. First is origin. We have to provide an origin. Second is direction. We have to provide a direction, a distance, and also we can check for hit. All right. So let's do this. Origin. What is going to be our origin? So our origin is going to be basically from um, casting from wheel collider. Not wheel collider. My wheel collider because it's mine. And I can only access that. So don't mess with me. Transform. Transform dot position because uh, we have to provide a position as vector 3 because we are dealing in a 3D workspace. Next thing is the direction. So it's going to be. Um, I guess my wheel collider uh, transform transform dot up. Now what this means is that this negative sign just states that just go in the negative direction. It means the opposite direction of we of what we are giving it right now. So it's actually transform dot down. That's all it is. Second hit. We're gonna check for hit if we are hitting something or not and uh, let's just give it a distance so the distance is gonna be my uh, let's say wheel um, wheel collider I guess I have to copy that because I'm gonna use it a lot of times alright my wheel collider and we're gonna get it for dot transform sorry dot radius because it is already I don't really have to access the wheel collider so dot radius and we're gonna add the suspension distance to it. So it's gonna be my wheel collider dot suspension distance. Suspension distance. That's all we have to do. Next thing is we have to calculate something, and for that we have to create a new variable, uh, which is gonna be variable wheel position. And it's gonna be a float. No, sorry, it's gonna be a vector tree. I'm not gonna use it as float. That's a really, really lame idea vector 3 oh I guess my num lock is off alright okay okay so the next thing is we have to find the wheel position now if it is colliding if it is colliding then there there is a position which is being stored on the hit structure that we have created earlier you can see hit uh, and it is an alt type raycast hit so this will gonna store um, the position where it is colliding so we can check that also up. So this is a really great feature of the uh, Raycast, and uh, it helps a lot. And it will gonna help a lot in the obstacle avoidance system, because I'm gonna create a Raycast-based obstacle avoidance system. You can use uh, uh, the cylindrical cast and uh, you know other types of cast. Uh, I guess the one is called a capsule cast. I, I haven't tried that one, but I'm pretty sure that they will gonna work pretty well too. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna check the wheel position if it is colliding with some object or not. If it is colliding with some object, all right. So it's gonna be hit that point. Sorry. Oh, hierarchy type. What the hell? Hit a dot. What is going on? Hit. Nothing else, dude. Just hit. Hit dot. I really do hate it why can't it just let me type hit okay I'm just gonna click over here then I'm gonna add dot and we're gonna go for hit dot point I don't know what is going on with it but it is kind of buggy right now I mean they have to fix monitor develop uh, okay so hit dot point and we're gonna go for wheel uh, sorry wheel uh, I guess it's not wheel my wheel crier because it's mine god damn it it's gonna transform transform dot up and um, it's gonna be up of uh, the radius so it's gonna be my wheel collider dot radius that's all you have to do to get the location next is um, is uh, we have to set it if it is not colliding then expand it as uh, as long as you can no. as long as the suspension distance goes so we're gonna go for my sorry my wheel glider dot transform 
what the hell got trans for uh, negative my wheel collider dot up and we have times it to suspension distance I guess I have done something wrong that's why this is not showing anything up uh, yes I have it's gonna transform that position All right okay still nothing I don't know what's going on let's see um, we hire uh, dot suspension suspension distance okay suspension distance suspension suspension distance all right let's minimize that and uh, found wheel position okay second uh, hold on a second hold on a second uh, the problem is over here as you can see I have uh, I have closed this one but I haven't closed closed this parenthesis and let's see this should be not fixed our product cannot be used left hand side let's see uh, I know cannot be. okay up is not member of wheel collider I know I have done a lot of thing wrong. Transforms dot up. Next thing, wheel position is uh, it's not going to be equal to anything. Um, the transform dot position is equals to wheel position. All right, that's it. I guess. Expected to insert a semicolon. Oh, god damn it! A lot of errors today. Okay, I guess this should fix it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and uh, we have our car. Let's just test it out if it's working or not. So, to get a real good idea, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the suspension distance up peg like this so I can see the distance real good. So as you can see, I have a really cool suspension, and uh, if I turn my this mesh render on, I can see it really better. So as you can see, it is working right now, and it's working just fine. And um, so yeah, I guess we are about to end the path system uh, in the uh, AI series. And after this, we're gonna start the obstacle avoidance system, which is a really cool thing. And uh, in the next episode, there is a lot of coming uh, in the next episode, so be sure to check that one out. And I'll catch you in my next episode, guys. So, yeah, one more thing um, I don't really like to read comments now on the YouTube because of uh, you know, thanks to Google Plus and Google, they are both. I mean, they're just one company, but they ruin everything pretty well. So, if you want anything, um, or you want, if you wanted to ask anything, you can go onto my blogs forum, or you can come to Facebook and post your questions there. I will reply to you regularly. But second thing, and uh, that is really important, that if you message me, if you ever message me on uh, on the Facebook, I will never gonna reply to that because of uh, because if you will gonna send me some messages. People will, uh, other people won't be able to see it, and uh, that's gonna be a lot of pro that is that is a really bad thing, you know. So just go onto my Facebook page, post your questions, and I'll reply it to you. All right, so I'll catch you next episode. Till then, good bye, and uh, let's just go ahead and reset the suspension distance, which was a zero point one, and yeah, we have done it. All right. So I'll catch you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye and yeah, bye.